Two more finals to come, Jenny Egan, and gee, these are exciting, aren't they? These are Olympic events. Um, and this race here, this is the, the C1 1000. A few big names missing, but I can tell you what, the biggest name in men's canoe racing at the moment, he was the world champion last year, is Caitlin Chirilla. We'll get to him in a moment. Here's Conrad Schiebner. He was a world champion in 2021. Suffered a bit of illness, uh, lost a bit of form in there for a little while. He's back, though, and he told me the other day that he's paddling as well as he's ever paddled. This will be a big test for him. Balaz Adolf, Jenny, you'd be very familiar with Balaz. Marathon paddler, 20, I think he's a world champion in the marathon. Uh, you'd be very familiar with his work. Jose Cordova, uh, just 22 years of age. He um, was ninth at the world champions. The pole. Victor Glasnow is uh, a very consistent paddler, seventh in the World Championships last year. And there he is, folks, the reigning world champion, Catalan Chirilla. He won the 500 yesterday. He really has, since uh, Halifax last year, just shown that he is a different class of paddler. The Canadian Connor Fitzpatrick um, won a B oh, competed, won a B final in 2021. Good to see him in an A final. Carlo Tacchini, he's been around for a few years. One of the nicest people on the paddling circuit, and I'm so excited to see him in this final. Fifth in the World Championships last year. And another pole, Witkowski from, uh, from Poland. Third in the B final of the under-23s in 2019. Good field. Yeah, for sure. Um, the Cuban, uh, he was the fastest qualifier for the final today from... Um, the heat, so he's going to be definitely one to look out for in lane four. And in 2021 in Barnau, Russia, he won a gold medal in the Canoe Swim World Cup there also. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a hard-fought final A. I expect the Hungarian Adolf to be up there at some stage challenging because he is a marathon paddler. He's shown himself to be a very, very good marathon paddler. Can it translate into a 1,000, though? They're underway, and that is the Romanian Catlin Cirilla already gone out to a very good lead. The pole, Victor Glasnow alongside him. And Konrad Schiebner, the German, he said that he feels good again, that he's ready to show his best. He's going to give this a bit of a shake as well. Uh, of course, paddling on that side of the boat, Jenny, he can't see what's happening behind him. He, I'm sure he'd prefer to be in lane eight so he could have a look across the, the, uh, the course. Yeah, it's very difficult, all right, with this. The, his uh, his strokes on the left, so yeah, he's covered <laughs> covered his viewing points with his right arm. But look, he's going to focus on his own race plan, focus on himself. He'll know exactly where when he's going to pace it from, what when he'll do his ups, and yeah, that's he's looking very strong at the moment. So look more at, power look to at, him. Look at Chirilla though; he's, he's he's almost lifting the boat out of the water. Uh, he's a very strong paddler. Look how deep and and strong that stroke is from the Romanian Chirilla. He has gone out very hard. I wonder, I mean, look, he's a world champion. He must know how to pace himself. He must know when he can do his best and when he can just take a little bit of a, a breather. At the moment, that's a very good race for second, though. Schiebner there in, in lane one and the pole, um, Glasnow in lane number five, battling each other for second place at the moment. But look at this, Jenny. It's a very, very... Uh, confident stroke, isn't it, from Chirilla? Yeah, very powerful, very powerful hip drive. Um, he, he looks like he's very comfortable. He's just eased into his rhythm in the middle part of this 1,000-metre race, and I'm, I've no doubt that he'll have another gear to go in the final 200 metres also. I think the fight is going to be for the silver and bronze medals here today. Yeah, for sure. Um, something very, very strange. I have seen some fish in the water here. A fish would have to jump up and hit Caitlin Chirilla in the face and momentarily knock him off course for him to uh, to lose his race from here, I think. Oh, I don't know. Look at lane one. Germany is really yeah, actually putting Conrad in a Schiebner, final part. Yeah. I mean, he is a former world champion, Schiebner, from 2021. So, you know, he's a very competent paddler. But uh, Chirilla is still looking nice and strong and still in control. It's a good race there in the middle of the field as well between the pole, uh, Glasnow, and the Cuban, Cordova. Of course, Cuba have such a fantastic record in the canoe, don't they? It's a, yes, it's they a do. strong sport for them. Yeah, and there's going to be a big um, 
fight here between lane four and lane five. And Shebna there in, uh, in lane one. But look at the, the Romanian. Look at Catalan Chirilla, the world champion. He is putting a little bit more distance now between himself and the rest of the field. He has 250 metres to go. He'll hear the drums. He can hear the drums, Fernando, as he heads down towards the finish line, which will tell him that he has not got far to go now to win this opening World Cup gold medal. Good race a second between Shebna and Glasnow. The Pole and the German are going at each other for the silver medal, but there's no doubt at all about who's going to win this race. Catelyn Chirilla, hats off to you, my friend. You are a very, very competent canoe paddler. Shebna throwing down a challenge now, though, to Chirilla. Shebna is really trying to pull back a bit of distance here. I don't know that he's going to have enough water to be able to get over the top of him, but it's a very strong finish from the German, but I don't think there's any doubt at all about our winner. There he is, the big man from Romania, Catalan Chirilla, gold yesterday in the 500, follow it up today with gold in the 1000. You are the best canoe paddler on the planet today, Catalan Chirilla. Congratulations to you. Conrad Schiebner with the silver. Good race for the German. And... Taking the bronze, it looked like Victor Glasnow from Poland, who held on for a brave race to take the bronze. But absolutely no doubt there, Jenny Egan, about our winner. No doubt. From pillar to post, he led it out. And, you know, well done to the German athlete as well. Coming back after sickness and that, is, it's not easy. And um, to come back and win a silver medal here at this Canoescrum World Cup, fair play to him. And then with the Polish, um, with a bronze medal. Gee, so the Romanian... Uh, canoe program is nice and strong at the moment. It good, it's good to see that depth because as you know better than most, Ginny Egan, when you are the only paddler on your team or when you are the only one doing it, it can be sometimes a bit hard to have that person to push you in training and that sort of stuff. But obviously in Romania now they have a, a good crew of canoe paddlers who are pushing each other. Yeah, for sure. And look, I'm very lucky because I have lots of junior boys and under 23 boys and men and veteran men that I train with at home and Look, they push me day in, day out. And now we have the young girl coming into the senior ranks um, who trains with us also. So it's about creating that squad and positive um, environment around yourself. Confirmation there of a second gold medal today for the Romanians, for Catalan Cirilla. Silver for Konrad Schiebner from Germany. And the bronze going to Poland. Another minor medal for the Poles today. They picked up a couple. And let's now, I think, hear from our winner. The world champion, Catalan Chirilla, and of course, gold medal from Seged right now. It was a nice and strong race. It seems you didn't have any competitors about the goal today. After the last few meters, Conrad was a heavy competitor. Am I right? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm very happy for uh, this medal. Uh, all competitors are strong, and uh, for me, it's perfect. Uh, they push me to my best limit. I love it. <laughs> what lessons can be learned from this race? So maybe for the next part. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and take a rest. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Uh, well, look, um, very gracious there. Um, and we're going to hear from Conrad Sheep now, the silver medalist from Germany. A really good race from him from, uh, from lane one. Let's hear from Conrad. Okay, so Conrad, you had some hidden energies for the last part, but Kathleen was the winner. What do you feel right now? Oh, it's amazing to be back in international racing after last year where I had to end my season early and being back with a silver medal is even better and it gives you a lot of motivation for the home world championships in Duisburg. Thank you very much. Yeah, it really is great to see Conrad Schiebner back. We saw him in, uh, because you know, he, 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 he wrested the mantle from uh, Sebastian Brendel in, and that's a tough thing to do. Uh, we'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's have a listen now to our Polish bronze medalist, Viktor Glasnov. Congratulations for the bronze medal, Victor. Are you satisfied with your result? No, I, I want to speak Polish, okay? I am very happy. I am very happy when I win the medal at the distance of 1000 meters. 
wybitnych zawodników. To szczęście mnie rozpiera, duma, że mogę reprezentować mój kraj i widzimy się w Poznaniu. Thank you, Victor. Congratulations.